Amen. Uh, turn with me to Matthew chapter 28. Matthew chapter 28, verse, starting at verse number 16. When you have it, you can please stand to your feet. Matthew chapter 28, starting at verse number 16. It says, then the 11 disciples, remember that uh, Judas had betrayed Jesus. Uh, some accounts said that he hung himself. Amen. So there are 11 disciples left. It says, this is after the uh, resurrection of Jesus. It says, then the 11 disciples went to Galilee to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. And when they saw him, check this out, they worshiped him, but some doubted. Yeah. Hang on to that. It says, then, it says, then Jesus came to them and said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I commanded you, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. And as you take your seat today, amen, I want to begin a new series, amen, uh, entitled uh, The Discipleship Crash Course. A discipleship crash course. It, it, it's, a, it's a crash course because uh, everything that we do, everything that we preach is actually a part of our discipleship. If we talk about stewardship, if we, if, if we, talk, about, um, if we talk about grace and mercy, no, no matter what we uh, preach, we are actually preaching and teaching discipleship because discipleship is simply following Jesus. That, that's, that's all it means. It, it means that uh, I have determined, I've made the decision that I am going to follow Jesus. The old song said, I have decided to follow Jesus. No, no turning back, no turning back. And so uh, over the next couple of weeks, I want to begin talking about a discipleship crash course. Uh, and, and in our scripture today, what we find is we find uh, the 11 disciples after Jesus has been resurrected from the dead. They, they, they followed Jesus for three years, uh, uh, all the way until Jesus goes to the cross. He, he's crucified, dead and buried, and then he is raised on the third day, just like he said. Uh, uh, and we know that Judas had dipped the bread with him and had betrayed him to the Pharisees. And, and so uh, out of guilt and shame, he, 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 he takes himself out of the equation. And so when we pick up in our text today, we find the 11 leftover disciples uh, wondering what to do. And, and, they, and they see the resurrected Jesus. And, and I want to point out to you uh, that when they see the resurrected Jesus, the text says that they worshiped him, but some doubted. That, 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 that they see the resurrected Jesus. They followed him. They've seen the miracles. They, he, he's done exactly what he said he would do. He went to the cross and overcame it. But they're still watching a resurrected Jesus. And the text says that they worship, but some doubt it. Uh, sounds just like us today. That, that, that we come to church Sunday after Sunday, but, but, but if truth be told, if, if, if the text really looked into the interior of our mind and the interior of our spirit, we would realize that, that, that while I'm worshiping, uh, I still have some doubts. Mm -hmm. there, that, 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 some, that some of us, some of us are guilty of worshiping and worrying at the same time. That, that, that while I've seen what God can do and I, I believe what God can do, uh, uh, it's like the man who brought his son to Jesus. He said, he said, he said, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. That, that, that there, there are still some places, there are still uh, some, some crevices of my life where, where there's some doubt is able to creep in. 
But here's what I like about the text. Uh, what I like about the text, uh, Elder Curtis, uh, is, 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 that, is that even though it says uh, they worship, but some still doubt it, Jesus still sent them anyway. G G Jesus, Jesus is Jesus is so uh, is so affirmed in in his power to be with us all the ways even until the end of the age. He says he he realizes their their doubt, but he still gives them a great commission anyhow. And, and I want to tell someone here today uh, that that we uh, as believers, one of the things we have to realize is that we don't have to be perfect to go make disciples. That, that the truth be told, none of us are going to have perfection until we reach the other side. Uh, uh, but, but even in the midst of our imperfection, even in the midst of our worry, even in the midst of our doubt, even in the midst of our insecurities, we can still proclaim who Jesus is. And not only can we proclaim who Jesus is, but we can disciple other people. We can, we can bring other people. We can help other people along the way as well. Um, and so on today, I, I, I want to kind of turn our attention to what I believe is one of the most underrated uh, aspects of our spirituality. But one of the most underrated aspects of our spirituality, I believe, is friendship. It's friendship. Uh, uh, I, I told him I wasn't going to embarrass him, but, but Brother Henry in the back actually came to church and, and confirmed that this was the message that, 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 that I was supposed to preach because he had on a sweatshirt that said friends. Amen. I said, I said thank you so much for, for, for confirmation. It, it, is that, that I want to preach, uh, teach a little bit about friendship. Uh, I, I want to ask you, how many of you all have a best friend? A best friend, the other uh, uh, old folks say, a uh, ace boon coon. <laughs> so, uh, you got to ride or die, amen. Uh, so, so, some somebody who 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 is with you, with you, thick and thin, thick as thieves, amen, amen. Somebody who 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 can walk with you. I, I want to suggest to you that who your best friend is says a lot about you. That, that, that who your best friend, the, the character of your friends reflect uh, uh, on you because it's not just a message for young people. It's a message for all of us uh, that, that we're either pulling them or they're pulling us or a little bit of both. Amen. That, 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 that the Bible says that iron sharpens iron. That, that, that uh, my daddy used to tell me, he said, he said son, birds of a feather flock together. Y'all must have had the same parents I did. Amen. Uh, 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 he, he said that, that, that who you hang around matters because we influence each other in ways that, that we recognize in some ways that we don't even recognize. That, that our friends are, are people who help us along the way. And, and, and I want to suggest to you today uh, that, that, that when we think about discipleship, we don't have to uh, think about something so high and lofty. Uh, we can sometimes just think of discipleship as, as, as how am I helping my friends and my friends helping me? You see, but see, beloved, I, I believe that, that, that we're, we're always discipling and being disciple. Uh, in, in, in Luke chapter uh, 12, I believe, uh, it, it says that, that Jesus, when he sends out the disciples the first time, he, he sends out the 70, he does not send them by, they, by themselves. The, the, the Bible says that when he sends out the, out the 70, the Bible says that he sends them two by two. Can, can, I, can I suggest to you today that, that, that it's hard to live this Christian life by yourself? Can I suggest to you today that, that even Lone Ranger had Tonto? Can, can I suggest to you today that even Batman found Robin? Can, can I tell you that even Moses had Aaron, Paul had Silas, even Jesus had James, John, and, and Peter. That, 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 that in this Christian life, you need somebody else. 
Uh, that's the reason why I thank God for, for, for Bill Withers. I, I know he wasn't singing a church song, but, but Bill Withers a long time ago, old folks, y'all remember this? He said, lean on me. When you're not strong, I'll be a friend. I'll help you carry on. Why? Because it won't be long until I'm going to need somebody to lean on. Uh, that, 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 that other jingle, uh, uh, Golden Girls, amen, I'm sure my age. It said, thank you for being a friend. It said, said, travel down the road and, and back again. It said, my, your heart is true. You're a pal, what, and a confidant. Hold on, what's the next verse? It said, and if you threw a party and invited everyone you knew, <laughs> you would see the biggest gift would be for me. And the card attached would say what? Y'all watch them songs too. Eh? Watch those shows too. Amen. God bless Blanche. Amen. God bless her. Amen. L listen, but 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 a confident. It, 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 it's a spiritual practice. Uh, if if you have your Bible, if you have your Bible, you can look with me at at James chapter five, verse sixteen. James chapter five, verse sixteen. I have to be careful because I, I always say it's my favorite verse. I, I, I call a lot of verses my favorite verse. This is one of my favorite verses. Uh, James verses five, James chapter five, verse 17. And, and I don't know what version y'all read. Y'all help me. Y'all help me. Five, five, six, eight. It says, Y'all found it? It says, therefore, confess your sins to God. Is that what it says? 16. Is that what it says? It says, therefore, confess your sins to God. Is that what it says? Is that what it says? What does it say? What is, huh? Hold on, wait. It says, confess your sins to God. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. It says, therefore, confess your sins to one another, to each other, and pray for each other so that you may be healed. Can I suggest to you that perhaps the reason why we don't have healing in some areas of our lives is because we don't confess to one another? It, it, is, that, is, that, is that secrets are the place where the devil does his best work? And so the text tells us that, that, that not only should you confess your faults to God, yeah, you should do that, uh, but it says we, you should confess your faults to one another. Why? So we can pray for one another so that we can be healed. I, I want to suggest to you today that, that, that in the midst of every addiction recovery program and in every grief counseling program and in every uh, program of, of mental illness and, and suicide prevention, they tell you that the, your ability to make it through is your ability to have somebody else that you can lean on. Can I ask you, is there anybody in your life who knows your whole life? Uh, good and bad and ugly. Thank you. Uh, 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 that somebody who knows the nitty gritty and who can call you out, but at the end of the day, still gonna love you anyway. That, that, that we all need somebody like that who, who is going to help us along the way, uh, who, who's going to call us out and let us know when we tripping. Uh, somebody in here says that I, I, I don't ever trip. If, if you say that, you tripping right now. That, 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 that all of us have moments where, we, where we're weak, where we're vulnerable, where, where we let the enemy infiltrate our mind. But, but God says, I'm going to give you friends to help you through every situation. Let me show you something else. Uh, in Genesis chapter 2, verse 18, uh, we, we, normally, we normally reference this uh, in weddings. It says, God is talking to the man and he before he forms Eve out of his rib. And he says, he says, it's not good for man 
to be alone. But can I point out to you today that when Eve was alone, she started talking to snakes. And, and, and so when I went back and read it, and I, I, I read it in the, in the Hebrew, what, what I realized was that when it says it's not good for man to be alone, that wasn't talking about male. That wasn't talking about gender. It was saying it's not good for people to be alone. I want to let somebody know uh, that the enemy is looking for you to be isolated. But, but God says, I want to bring you and make you a part of a family. I, I want to make you a part of a friendship. I, I want to make you a part of a church so that, so that when the enemy comes on every hand and, and you're vulnerable, somebody else is able to stand up and have your back. And, and, so, and so today, this might not be a, a shouting message, but, but, but we thank God for good friends. We, we thank God for folks who know how to hold stuff in confidence. Amen. We, we thank God for people who give us wise advice. We thank God uh, for people who are able to do uh, what Ephesians 4.15 says, uh, able to speak the truth in love to us, uh, to hold us accountable for our stuff. I, I want to let you know that, 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 that one of the biggest blessings, Sister Mitty, it is someone to hold you accountable. Uh, listen, I was in a conversation uh, a couple days ago, uh, and, and 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 they they had asked a question, and and we had to we had to wrestle with this thing uh, because we had to come to the realization uh, that accountability is actually a blessing. It, it is the truth be told that it, it is having someone uh, to look over your work is actually a blessing. Uh, uh, matter, matter of fact, having somebody to edit your paper is actually a, a blessing, Jordan. Where, where you at? Amen. Uh, ha having somebody to, to, to read over your stuff, to, to read you sometimes is a blessing. And, 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 and in order for us to get to where God wants us to be, God is calling each and every one of us to be uh, better friends. It, it, it's, it's so important. I'm going to go ahead and go to my seat. It's so important that, that after walking with the disciples for several years, Jesus turns to the disciples and said, no more do I call you servants. No more do I even call you disciples. I now call you friends. Thank you, Israel Hold. He said, he said, I am a friend of God. He got it from Abraham. I am a friend of God. You, you call me friend. That, that even God says, I want to be in a friendship with you. And, and so I want to charge each and every one of us. To, to simply look at our friendships, to, to examine the friendships of our life. That, that if there are friendships that we have that, that we shouldn't have, we, we may have to discontinue those. Uh, but in other friendships, ma make sure that in your friendship you are leading your friends in the way that they should go and that you have friends that are leading you in the way you should go. Amen? Amen. Amen. This is the word of God for the people of God. Let's say thanks be to God. Amen. Come on, put your hands together.